what they don't tell you on YouTube about bad habits. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. Quitting bad habits is not as easy as a lot of people say. You know, a lot of things like NoFap, a lot of things like other things to quit video games, they're not as easy as people make it. And you know that. And I know that because I had to deal with a lot of bad habits. And I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, I still deal with a lot of bad habits to this day. And I think it's something that we all do. However, a lot of people make it seem like, you know, quitting bad habits is just like quit bad habits. Do this, do that. Okay. We get it. Theoretically, it sounds nice just to quit bad habits, but there's a lot of mental fortitude that goes down and, and a lot of us don't have that testosterone-filled willpower anymore and it's been decreased. So we really can't do that. Quran videos online is destroying the ummah. It's not as easy as some people make it. And a lot of people want to sell you their courses. A lot of people want to be, you know, showing you the secret way. A lot of people swear by NoFap as the answer to quitting these bad habits, but it, that's not how it works. It's a lot deeper than just stopping it. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you why and what they don't tell you about quitting bad habits such as P or such as video games. And it's not just about stopping it on the spot and then two weeks later, like you're just good. No, that's not how it works. It's a lot deeper than that. So in order for me to tell you the secret or the secret to quitting bad habits, I have to first tell you, you know, how you're doing them and why you're doing them in the first place. I made so many extensive videos now on dopamine and how it works. So relax. I know you've heard the word dopamine a lot of times. I'm not going to be telling you how it works because you probably might know what it is. But if you don't, I made a complete 33 minute video on how dopamine works and how you can beat your procrastination more or less. And also if you're used to creativity, you can probably use that same video to quote your bad habits. But for you, I've done the job. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can sort of minimize your dopamine intake in order for you to actually slow down and beat your bad habits. And this is why I resonate a lot with the YouTuber Hamza when he talks about, it's about the progress you've made. And we've heard of this quote before. It's about the progress and not necessarily the result because quitting bad habits, you've been doing this for years and years and years. We've been playing video games since we're like eight years old. I don't know if you've remembered playing Minecraft back then. To break a bad habit, maybe you might be 18, 19, 20 right now, or even older. At the end of the day, we have to understand the deep-rooted problem and the issue and why we're still continuing, why we still see so much value in it. And this may be linked with your trauma and anxiety. Clearly, we don't like playing video games. We feel shame after playing video games. But somehow, our body still feels some sort of value. And we might not understand why we still see them as valuable until we see that these are deep rooted in our trauma or we use this as a coping mechanism for something else. Bad habits is just a cover up for some sort of trauma that happened in your life. And we use it to feel acknowledged, we use it to feel loved, etc. We use it to feel like the sense of achievement that we might have not felt when we were younger, when we probably didn't achieve much or I'm, I'm not sure what, are, what your trauma is, but you might wanna take a deep look at yourself and your childhood. And I'm no therapist, I'm no psychiatrist, so I'm not going to be telling you uh, some ways you can do that. But I'm just saying this might be linked with some bigger trauma. So that's number one. It's deeper than just quitting it. It's deeper than just going on NoFap and just suddenly, magically quitting it. That's not how it works. And you don't know how many times I tried to quit video games. And every time I played, I would feel literal shame because there's other people like my friends or whatever, they were, you know, doing good in school or they were doing good in other areas of life. And I was just indulged in this sense of video games. I was just playing for hours and hours and hours. It was taking over my life and everyone else was doing okay in school or whatever, but I was only one doing good in video games, but not good anywhere else in life, like actual real life. So when reality hit me after my video game session, after 10 hours of playing video games, I stayed depressed and it was sort of a depressing life to live. And that's why I would pretty much have my temporary happiness in video games because my real life, actual real life wasn't that good. So now since we understand that this stuff is some sort of temporary cover up for our brains, for our younger traumatic or anxious self, that we use these bad habits as a cover-up, most likely, how can we go about actually fixing them? Well, before I tell you that, it's actually harder than that, but before I tell you that, it's more deeper to like, you know, how this is affecting your brain. So there are many promises that people tell you online about quitting bad habits. A lot of them say, go on a dopamine detox. A lot of them say, slowly reduce them. A lot of them say, cold turkey it. So what do we do? Everyone is saying different things, different this, different this, different this, because people have their own ways of quitting stuff. And this is the issue with self-help. 
is that everyone has their own ways and everyone's preaching that their way is the best so when someone is coming here in order to fix their bad habits they don't know like how to do it. everyone's seeing something different a lot of them are trying cold turkey but they realize that cold turkey doesn't work out for them and two weeks later they quit a lot of them are slowly trying to reduce them but then there's just one week where they just indulge in their bad habits for the entire week and then that's their that's that's their reducing gone a lot of them are trying many different ways like a dopamine detox and they're quitting after two or three days people are not understanding that it's not these things that will help you but like these are just little symptoms right you have to change and you have to fix the main issue, not the symptoms. And I'm gonna credit Charlie Morgan here because this was a video that completely changed the way I thought about bad habits or just working and stuff like that and procrastinating as slash productivity. And specifically, he said, you should focus on the the actual main area, not, not the symptoms. For example, if you have something like cancer, there's gonna be symptoms of cancer, like for example, you vomiting, etc. And you might go to the doctor and tell the doctor, oh, you're vomiting. So the doctor might give you medications for the vomiting, but he, they might not necessarily give you medications for the cancer because they haven't actually fixed the main issue. So even if you fix the vomiting, it's only gonna be there for a certain amount of time until another symptom of cancer comes up. And then cancer gets worse and worse and worse. So you have to understand that there is a big main issue to your bad habit. And a lot of it is linked, with, again, with trauma. But with the trauma aside, how can we at least minimize or how can we even quit bad habits well first we have to understand the fact that if you are indulged in a bad habit lifestyle and you are hating this bad habit lifestyle you are probably hyper stimulated as a lot of you have heard hyper stimulation just means that your brain is just way too used to hyper stimulation whatever that is cheap dopamine is the biggest form of hyper stimulation where your brain is just getting it's just too used to seeking high amounts of stimulants high amounts of dopamine in whatever task you're doing to the point where whatever else you're doing like for example if you were to study it wouldn't feel stimulating enough for your brain so you wouldn't do them and this is how procrastination is formed but also this is why you technically cannot be your bad habits because your brain is way too used to these high stimulants of dopamine so whenever you try to quit them your brain is like wait what the heck where, where, where's this amount of stimulation i'm looking for so it, then it becomes a battle <laughs> then it becomes a war with you and your brain and tugging this rope and whoever wins wins and most of the time it's your brain slash shaitan who is influencing this is the one who wins and this is why it feels like a constant battle and a constant war. So you have to understand this is linked with hyperstimulation and you are pretty much hyperstimulated right now. Okay, so trauma, hyperstimulation. How can I beat my bad habits with knowing these two things? Third, this is where it gets a little deep. So out of the many different sort of solutions I mentioned about quitting bad habits, one of them stood out to me, which was a dopamine detox. This is where you pretty much cut all of your dopamine out completely in order to regulate your dopamine levels so your brain is not used to hyperstimulation. So theoretically, after a dopamine detox, you should be at regular stimulation for your brain. So doing work and stuff might feel easier. You might not be seeking high stimulus of dopamine. So technically, you might, theoretically, you probably will not be seeking video games. Now, again, a dopamine detox sounds very, very good on theory, but the issue is when people get on a dopamine detox, right, they quit after two or three days. So the solution theoretically is a dopamine detox and I can go tell you, I can end this video right now and tell you, okay, you've understood trauma, you've understood a dopamine hyperstimulation, etc. The answer is dopamine detox, right? Now, okay, I could have ended the video here, but that's not how it works because it's deeper than that. You will probably try to go on dopamine detox, but you'll quit. The reason why, again, is because you haven't fixed the main problem, the symptoms or whatever, the dopamine detox, whatever, whatever. But you haven't fixed the main issue, meaning you haven't changed yourself. And this is why you have to take initiative to change yourself completely. And probably you've heard of this term, change your identity. And to summarize this and to picturize this in your head a lot more clearly, let's use Cristiano Ronaldo as a prime example. You see, he's very, very successful. He has a very good shape in his body, Allah Mubarak, even though he's not Muslim. May Allah guide him to Islam. He, you know, he has money. He's good at football still. He's in very good shape. Now, you might have heard about a story of the fact that he had to sacrifice a lot of things in order to get to this shape. And he had to completely change his life. Now, the thing is, you can clearly see a difference. And this is the key moment. 
If you wanted to be successful as Cristiano Ronaldo, would you be successful by the way you are right now? Probably not. You probably wouldn't be as successful as him right now because of the way you are because your sort of lifestyle is a result of who you are right now. And his lifestyle, Cristiano Ronaldo's lifestyle, is a result of who he is right now. And he had to completely transform his life. He could have been a normal person. He could have been someone who's scrolling all the time. He could have been someone who's playing video games. But he had to sacrifice all of that to become this. So if you want to become this, you have to see that you have to change your identity completely. I'm going to be honest with you. You have to. You, like, you cannot stay someone who's mediocre but be successful at the same time. That's just not how it works. If you want to be successful, you have to dedicate your craft and your energy and your time into your success at all times, which means you have to sacrifice them because time and energy is finite, something that is, everyone has the same amount, 24 hours, right? Now it's up to you. Where do you want to put your 24 hours to? And that means to sacrifice bad habits and that means to completely change your identity completely. So when I talk about going on a dopamine detox, it's not about doing a dopamine detox for a week and then you're magically going to quit all of your bad habits. No, but it's about going on a dopamine detox for the rest of your life. And that's what it comes down to. And now, when I first got into self-improvement, that's something I had to do. I had to completely change my identity, right? I'm, I was done with video games. I was done with these bad habits. And and I went on a dopamine detox, but I created a brand new routine, a brand new lifestyle, a, a different time when I woke up. And you have to just take initiative and say, what, what do I want out of life? And once you've come to that answer, if you want to be someone who's successful, you have to change your identity completely with that. And dopamine detox is the answer, but with a new identity and a complete different lifestyle. And that's the answer. Now, if you want more help with that, I made a Discord. It's complete free for Muslims that are trying to grow and become the best version of themselves. So go in the description down below, the first link, and join that right now, inshallah ta'ala, where we'll be able to help you. Have a group of people that are improving. So if you ever have a problem, just message one of the boys in the channel. Message one of the boys in the chat. Be like, yo, I'm, ha I'm having this problem. How can I fix this? And inshallah, if someone fixed one of the problems you're having, they can go help you. And this is a brand new Discord, so it's only gonna get bigger. I didn't even make it while I'm speaking right now. I'm gonna be making it and posting the link today, so no worries. But it's a brand new channel. But because you know how hard it is to group up with Muslim brothers that are improving every day, like I haven't really met any, and maybe that's my issue. But at least with the Discord, we can all come together and we can have voice chats and etc. Join that in the description down below. I might be even creating some video courses for for that Discord free, just for improvement, so you can improve. So. Go check that down, down below. And uh, yeah, so assalamu alaikum. Hopefully you benefited. And uh, I'll see you on the next one, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.